Welcome back. In the previous video, I showed you how to create or raise and customize sales invoices. So invoices to customers, customer invoices. In this video, I want to demonstrate how to edit and delete invoices, how to edit and delete sales invoices. The first thing you need to do is locate the invoice, the sales invoice. You can do that by going to contacts and customers and clicking on the customer that the invoice was raised to. So example, customer limited, it could be it's this invoice here, SI3. So we locate the invoice. We simply click on it. We're taken to this screen. And on the right here, there's a number of options. And one of those options is edit. If I click on edit, I can edit the invoice. Now, alternatively, if you don't want to come through customers, you can go to that sales invoices screen, which I've covered previously, and find the invoice. Now you may have pages and pages of invoices, so you can use that search feature to bring up the desired invoice. So SI3, we click on it. Once again, we're taken to this screen, the same screen, and once again, there's an edit button here. If I click on edit, I'm taken to that initial create invoice screen. I can change whatever information I need to change, such as the date, the due date, the description, the ledger code or the nominal account, the quantity, the price, VAT, text, and so on. Once I've made the modifications, once I've edited the invoice, just make sure you click save. So it could be that it was the description that was wrong and I was meant to add, say, a purchase order number. That's now been added. I can click save and that invoice has been edited. Now, a word of warning here. If you click on edit and a payment has already been allocated to this invoice, you're going to be very limited to what you can edit, such as you can't edit the price or the VAT once a payment has been allocated to the invoice. I will show you in a later video how to unallocate that payment so you can edit the invoice. So if you've come to this edit screen and you can't edit all the information, it's probably because a payment has been allocated against an invoice and it won't let you make any changes. I'll show you in a later video how to get around that. We haven't even covered payments to invoices yet, so we don't want to jump into that area of Sage now where we're unallocating payments when you don't even know how to allocate a payment. If you do know how to allocate a payment, then just head over to my website, find the Sage accounting page, it's all for free, and just find the video about um, unallocating payments. Okay, let's go back. Let's go back to our customer and example customer. Let's say we want to delete the invoice, not edit it. So SI3, if I click on SI3, there is a void option, which is here. If I click on void, it will delete the invoice. Now, another word of warning. If a payment has been allocated against the invoice, even a part payment, it won't let you void the invoice. That payment has to be unallocated. And I'll show you how to do that once again in a future video. Another word of warning. Really a credit note should be raised against an invoice rather than voiding it. There could be times, there could be scenarios when you should void an invoice. Let's say this invoice was raised, it was never sent to the customer, it was some sort of internal invoice or an invoice that just never went out. In that scenario, you could void the invoice and clear it off the system. However, the sales invoice has been raised and sent to the customer. You really need to send out a credit note and it's credit notes, which I'll be covering in the next video.